Okay. Monsters in Doom can be relentless. Poking your head around the corner can result in an instant death, but sometimes they take their sweet ass time to attack. Bruh. What gives? What determines a monster's aggression level? And are all monsters equally aggressive? Before we answer those questions, we must have a look when exactly monsters decide to attack. Let's start from the very beginning. This monster is asleep, has no target set, and will therefore not chase down anyone. The moment it spots a target, the hunt begins. Hunting down a target is handled by a function called A Chase. Let's see what A Chase does. The first thing it does is decrement the monster's reaction time. We'll get back to this later. Same with this condition that checks if the monster has just attacked. Then it will check if it can do a melee attack. If this monster has a melee state and is near the target, it will start getting physical. The Imp, Pinky, Spectre, Hell Knight, Baron of Hell and Revenant all have a melee state. You can whiff the Pinky, Spectre and Revenant's melee attack by backpedaling. But the Imps, Hell Knights and Barons are crafty murder mutants. If you whiff their melee attack, they will toss a fireball instead. The Cacodemon is a special case. It does have a melee attack, but not a melee state. When it does a ranged attack, and you happen to be within melee range, it will chomp you. <laughs> if the target is not close enough for a melee attack, and the monster has a ranged attack, then let's see if we can attack the target with that. The monster can only do a ranged attack when its movement counter is zero. Each time a chase is called, the movement counter decrements by one. When it drops below zero, or when it bumps into something, and it can move to any of its 8 possible directions, the counter will be set to a random value between 0 and 15. When playing on nightmare difficulty, or with fast monsters enabled, the movement counter check is omitted. So, the monster's movement counter is 0. Let's see how it determines whether or not it will do a ranged attack. First and foremost, the target must be visible. If it cannot see the target, don't attack. Monsters can see through other monsters, so only the map geometry can block sight. Also, keep in mind that enemies that attack in volleys like Cyberdemons and Mancubi only run the range attack check once at the start of their attack. The next condition it checks is if the monster was just hit. The flag MF just hit is set when the enemy went into its pain state. This makes the monster very aggressive and will attack the target regardless of the upcoming restrictions. Lost souls in the charging state do not get this flag set. Remember the reaction time that decremented at the start of 8 chase? Each monster wakes up with a reaction time of 8. As long as the reaction time value is greater than 0, the monster will never attack. They need some time to wake up I suppose. The reaction time is set to 0 when you harm the monster however. Even if the monster doesn't go into its pain state. This means that if you wake up a monster by shooting at it, you risk an immediate counter attack, as its move count will be at zero. When a monster goes back to sleep after killing a target, its reaction time doesn't reset. When this monster wakes up again, it can immediately attack. Playing on Nightmare difficulty completely gets rid of the reaction time. Enemies that wake up, regardless of shooting them first or not, will not hesitate attacking you. Interestingly enough, when they respawn, their reaction time is set to 18. This is a significant amount of time before they are able to attack again, so utilize this mechanic well if a nightmare monster respawns in front of you. After the reaction time check, it will calculate the distance between the monster and its target. A magic number of 64 is subtracted from this distance. If the enemy has no melee state, another 128 is subtracted from this distance value. If the monster is an archfowl and the distance is over 896 units, then do not attack. The distance in reality is actually 1088. Remember, we subtracted 64 and 128 earlier. Also, this check is completely skipped if the archer went into its pain state and had its MF just hit flag set, giving it unlimited range. If the monster is a revenant and the distance is less than 196 units, then do not do a ranged attack. 
Again, we subtracted 64 earlier, so this distance in reality is 260 units. Revenants have a melee state, so we never subtracted the 128. This check creates a small dead zone where revenants will not shoot missiles. But just like the Archfowl, this check is omitted if the Revenant went into its pain state. The Revenant is guaranteed to retaliate with a ranged attack within 15 steps. But you can stop the Revenant from taking any steps and making it whiff. Look at this nerd. Anyway, if the Revenant's target is 260 units or more away, it will cut the calculated distance value in half. The same is done if the monster is a Cyber Demon, Spider Mastermind, or Lost Soul. The calculated distance value is kept at 200, unless the monster is a Cyber Demon, then it's kept at 160. Then a random value between 0 and 255 is generated. If the generated value is greater than the distance value, it will do a ranged attack. A flag will be set to tell that this monster has just attacked. Remember the condition at the start of a chase? This flag ensures that the monster must move at least a tiny bit before attacking again. Unless playing on nightmare difficulty or with fast monsters enabled. Then they can be a turret all they want. So as you can see, the distance between the monster and its target decides the likelihood of it running its ranged attack. The further away the target is, the less frequent it will attack. Monsters are guaranteed to run the ranged attack when the target is in close proximity and the movement counter hits zero. Enemies place on towers are not as consistent however. They keep bumping into the edges, which resets their move counter. It can keep generating move counter values so high that it will almost never reach zero and therefore barely attack. On the other hand, bumping into an edge can also generate very low move counter values, causing it to attack a lot. RNG can be weird like that. Since the move counter is bound to running a range attack check, that means that enemies that call A chase more frequently will do range attacks more often. We can categorize four groups of enemies based on how often they call A chase. Keep in mind that we've excluded enemies that have no range attack. Sorry pinkies inspectors. Group A has the fast boys. Both the Archfowl and Revenant call A chase every two ticks. On average, they will try to do a range attack every 0.6 seconds. Group B has the majority of the enemies. They will call A chase every 3 ticks. On average, they will try to do a range attack every 0.85 seconds. Group C is a bit slow. Zombie men and Mancubi call A chase every 4 ticks. On average, they will try to do a range attack every 1.1 seconds. Group D is... Um, um, uh, oh, uh, Los Sols are really slow at deciding when to attack. 6 ticks between each 8 chase call, so 1 range attack check every 1.7 seconds on average. I can understand this information bomb being a bit overwhelming. So many different conditions and arbitrary numbers. But don't worry, I've crunched the numbers for you. Hell, let's go rank the aggressiveness level for each monster while we're at it. Why? Because ranking things is... uh... epic. For these rankings, we're assuming the monster doesn't have the MF just hit flag set. Since the distance between the monster and target matters a lot, we will rank the aggressiveness using three different distances, 600, 300, and 200 map units. How exactly do we determine the rank? Easy. First we check the likelihood of an enemy attacking at a given distance. Then we check how often it tries to attack within a certain time span, and how many of these attacks were successful. Using these three variables, we can calculate a constant. Let's start with a distance of 600 first. Most of the enemies here have a 21% chance to attack when the move count hits zero. Except the Cyber Demon, where it's 38% because of its reduced distance cap. The reduced cap loosens up the random number restrictions. The attack chances are mostly the same, but we can sort them by the A chase tick rate. Moving on to a distance of 300. This is where things get more interesting. Here, the Archfowl is king. Even though its attack chance is only 57%, its A chase tick rate really boosts up the constant. In contrast, the Cyber Demon and Spider Masterman's attack chance is a whopping 81%, but on average they will attack a tiny tiny bit less often than the Archfowl. The Revenant takes third place, but in general, the top three groups here are more or less equally aggressive at this distance. Then we've got the melee-less monsters, the Slow Boys, the Lost Souls, and perhaps a bit surprising, these monsters. Because of their melee state, they do not get the melee-less distance calculation bonus. They will hit their distance cap at relatively short distances. 
At a distance of 200, most enemies are guaranteed to attack when the move counter hits zero. At the top, we've got the Archfall, who will very reliably attack you at a high frequency. Up next, we've got the bosses. Melee-less enemies have a similar aggression level as the bosses at this distance. Then we get the Slow Boys, followed by the Lost Souls, and then Imps and bigger Imps. And at the very bottom, we've got the Revenant. No ranged attacks for you, my dear. As long as we don't shoot you at least. What can we conclude? Overall, Cyber Demons appear to be the most aggressive monster. At far distances, it is the Sniping King. But also at medium range combat, it is very likely to attack often. The Archfowl is relentless at close and medium range combat. Ironically, the enemy types map makers tend to use as snipers, such as Imps and Hell Knights, aren't as efficient. I'm even willing to give the Baron of Hell the Dunscout for being a faker. A boss enemy that docile? Shame. May this info help you out on getting good at those tough doom levels. Anticipating when an enemy will do a ranged attack may save your life. I would like to thank you, the viewer, for watching the video in its entirety. Special thanks to the YouTube members and patrons for the monthly support. And a massive shout out to the most attractive people that roam this earth. 19 Day, Agonizing Rectal Pain, Andrew Dunai, Andrew Riz, Andrew Yukumchuk, Andri Dicklin, aka Mac Hauser, Art Cox, Beaks Make Me Coom, Ben Langley, Bitcore, Blue, Wonderstorm, Kappa Bitch, Carlton Hart, Chief Kotrake, Cyprian Rusen, Francis T218, Ertak, I Had Diarrhea, But Now It's Gone, Diarrhea, James Young, John Guy, Joseph Shantz, Katsune Teku, Kiryu Gorobets, Lars Soderberg, Matthew Marikan, Matthias Zippert, Max Payne 67, Mr. Charon, Neko Ninja Core, Nighthawk 71, Pete Peterson, Pigs Drift, Pyro Shi, Quake Gamer 632, Raven King, Ryan Quinn, Riley, Robert Wakeley, Salt Bad Guy, Sensodyne 93, Shane Larson, Shazarat, Space Duck, Spectre, Steak Jacobs, Stephen Bone, Steven Halustik, Teko Kami, The Hellwalker, Thomas, Tim Grasimov, Tim Goldberg, Timothy Collar, Turbine2k5, Victor Rick, Who's Ace, Zach Booker, and Zepp Rouse Dower. Have a fantastic day.